Hello. So in this rather lengthy chapter, I should say section, we're going to talk about solving equations involving trigonometric functions. And we'll start at the beginning by looking at an equation that has only a single trig function and it's set equal to a number we're familiar with. Um, so the sine of x equals one half. And it's my hope that at this point, we know a solution to this. The sine of pi over six is one half. And we're going to use this fact and we're going to combine it with two other facts or strategies or pieces of information, call them what you will. We're going to use reference angles. And we are going to use periodicity. So let's draw pi over six. This is n answer to this equation. But it's not the only answer to the equation. And that's because Two angles that have the same reference angle have the same trig values, plus or minus a positive or negative sign. So pi over six in the first quadrant, then five pi over six, in the second quadrant. And between zero and two pi, these are the only solutions. You might ask, well, what about seven pi over six? That has a reference angle of pi over six as well. And you're right, it does. But this is in the third quadrant and the sine of any angle in the third quadrant is negative. So because we want the sine to be positive one half, this is a no-go. Um, similarly, 11 pi over 6. The angle in the fourth quadrant that has this reference angle, it's invalid too. It's not a solution, again, because we're looking for where the sign is positive. Okay, so we solve this equation mentally. We get pi over six. We use reference angles to give us another solution, but these are not the only possible solutions. And this is where periodicity comes into play. The fact that the sine of x is the sine of x 
x plus 2 times pi times n for any integer n. So the sine of pi over 6 in particular is the sign of pi over 6 plus 2 times pi times n for any integer n. And because this is 1 half, we're getting a bunch of solutions here. Pi over 6 is a solution. Pi over 6 plus 2 pi is a solution. Pi over 6 plus 4 pi is a solution. And so on. And precisely the same thing works with 5 pi over 6. Because of periodicity, 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi, 5 pi over 6 plus 4 pi, etc. These are all solutions. So we wind up with an infinite number of solutions to this equation. But we can write them down compactly. They're pi over 6 plus or minus 2 pi n, where n can be 0, 1, 2, etc. And there are 5 pi over 6, thus or minus 2 pi n, again, where n can be any natural number. So there's kind of our, our prototypical example, let's say. And we'll look at variations of this problem throughout the rest of this section.